Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another Rise of Mordor battle for you today and today we are showing off the Fives of Mordor mod and this is a, uh, a quick 1v1 battle but it's an insanely close finish. Uh, I, this, I'm taking part in a uh, Fives of Mor uh, Fives of Gondor, sorry. Fives of Gondor tournament uh, currently on the uh, on a Rise of Mordor Discord group and uh, yeah I am playing as the Dunedain over here and I'm facing Dol Amroth. So we'll have a quick look at some of the units uh, that you can see that the Fives of Gondor like has. So these are Dunedain footmen here. These guys look amazing. Uh, but um, they're not as good as the units in behind the Dunedain knights here with uh, the sword variant. Then there are uh, also the spear variant I think further down the line over here. Um, yep, yeah, here they are. They look awesome as well. These guys look just, they look so deadly. And then we have uh, cavalry here mounted D knights. We have uh, Obviously, the Dunedain Rangers out here, and we have cavalry already getting very close. But uh, we've also got units like we have uh, the Dol Amroth Squires, which you've sort of seen already here. They're uh, doing their business. We have them in behind dismounted knights. And then uh, we have some Prince Guard over here, which equally look very nice and uh, nasty. And we also have some uh, dismounted Swan Knights, I do believe, here on the far side over here. And then there are the uh, the mounted ones over there already chasing stuff down so we'll put it back to normal speed it's a very uh, quick paced battle so there will be probably a fair amount of uh, slow-mo going on so just to show you guys as much of the battle as possible uh, but if you're enjoying watching the content at the moment uh, do remember to leave a like subscribe and a comment to show your support as we go towards the 2000 mark and you can see here we already have Dunedain Knights and Swan Knights in combat we've got our spears for Dolamroth joining the fight and we have also Dunedain knights with their spears also joining. I am massively outnumbered at this moment by about uh, four to five hundred men but you can see the uh, main line has also started to clash. We have the footmen now engaged with the squires. I don't know who should would re win this. Uh, Dunedain is supposed to be really really powerful but uh, these footmen aren't that great um, but neither are, the, neither are the squires probably. They are merely squires. Not fully trained knights yet. And as you can see, the uh, combat's going on over here. We have now the uh, the knights fighting some uh, squires here, so they should win that one. And there's a cavalry cavalry clash. I've now pinned down their only cavalry unit on this side, so I can now use this cavalry unit to go and uh, start going rampant and attacking. I'm trying to get this spear unit to get in and engage more stuff. And there you go, it's going to fight some prince guard. But yeah, this one here can go around and start charging stuff. The general has now uh, got options, and he's going to go after this uh, this knights unit here. And this could be a nasty little charge that's going to happen in the rear of this unit. As I wasn't quite ready, I was going to flank around the uh, infantry line. But I'm going to get counter flanked by the general. That was a nasty charge. And that unit's probably uh, pretty de depleted. You can already see the units dropping. It's already lost 30, 40, 50, 60 men. Jeez, look at the numbers just drop. And that is insane. And I'm desperately trying to send over archers just to kind of like get into combat, slow the unit down. But I'm now focus firing that mounted swan knight. And he's now going over into combat there. My, uh, yeah, this unit is sword, uh, this knights is now just depleted. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to respond by charging my cavalry into archers. Uh, but, yeah, as you can see, we'll go into slow-mo. And, uh, well, we've got a small bit of engagement going on here. This knights unit is basically isolated on its own, fighting some of the, uh, coast, uh, I believe they're, uh, yeah, coast guard, or coast, yeah, prince guard, that's it. That, not coast guard, that's, uh, Rise of Mordor. They have, uh, that's a pole arm unit. But, um, yeah, these guys look awesome. I mean, they have very similar helmet helmets to the uh, Prince's uh, Coast Guard in that. Uh, in the main mod. But, uh, no, they have swords, these guys. And, uh, yeah, you imagine that that's going to be a fairly even fight. Um, over here, we just have some uh, more knights fighting some squires. We should win that fight. Knights against squires should be okay. Uh, I have uh, the front line here is looking a little bit dicey um, at this point. I'm starting to lose in some areas. You can already see some knights are having to be sent in with their sword variants. I'm already losing here, and you can see a charge is going to happen into the rear. I charge through the archers and go into the rear of the fighting here. Get the full impact of that, and you can, that's going to certainly help balance it out. Um, I am actually wavering here, and I am already worrying about... I mean, you can see another charge here by the general. He's charging to the back. I'm trying to get my general out of combat so I can go and start doing some more stuff with him. My archers may have to get sent into combat already. They are... Uh, well, they are not good for... Uh, shooting at the moment. I need men on the front lines holding back troops. And you can see these Dunedain Mountain Knights trying to get out, do some more action, some more damage. And I'm now going to try and pin down their general with my own Dunedain general. We might just about catch him. Yeah, we've caught some of the unit and there you go. I'm now going to send back in my other Dunedain Knights. 
I'm going to try and do as much damage as possible to this general. Uh, we're focusing fire in here as well, my Dunedain Rangers. And it just looks so glorious, but they have got spears coming, so I'm trying to get my general and everyone out of there. And, uh, I mean, they're also pulling out as well. We're trying to chase down my archers, and, uh, yeah, no one's really winning that fight. Basically, and then I'm going to send up my archers to try and level the playing field, have some uh, infantry fighting on both sides. But you can see, I'm winning on that far flank now, that's great, but I am losing over here. I'm about to get, like, swamped here. I need to desperately get some stuff. I'm also losing here uh, against the Prince Guard. They are not faring so well my spears. On this side, I am actually winning. My cavalry's losing, but I am winning with the infantry, which is a good sign. But it is really close at this point. And yeah, my general is having to fall back. I've got this this uh, Dunedain Mountain Knights having to hold the line here. It's just to uh, kind of hold the general in place. So I can either focus him down or just keep him there so he can't run rampant. My general can now run rampant and can go after archers, which is what his uh, plan is. And this is a big blob of uh, of archers here. I mean, my uh, men have rallied, but once you rallied one, uh, rallied once, it's not really the same. You're not the same unit. But here you go. You're going to see the archers get run down here by uh, Dunedain Knights. But they're getting focused by all the other arch units. Like, they have so many back there. Like, there are, are at least two more. I mean, this one, I think, is firing as well, point blank. So my general is in a deep, deep trouble. I really, I need to engage these archers, but I don't have enough cavalry just to keep them all engaged. I'm winning this fight here, though, against the general. I'm winning this. I need to get these two sword units back into combat. And uh, luckily, my general is able to keep charging. He's just going to have to keep charging and kill as many of these archers as possible. He may die. It might be a bit of a kamikaze thing. But I can kill and damage enough of these archers, and that could be a big, big win. I'm also starting to surround his front line here. Um, he's having to send in, like, units that are, uh, like, routed and returning. But, yeah, my general, you can see in the background there, still doing damage. The archers still being, like, silenced. But we're still desperately trying to win this infantry fight. And luckily on the far side, my uh, the cavalry's, like, not been in... Like, this unit here has not been impeded, but, like, we can just happily just... It's almost like a slug match here. Neither side's going to win. And there I go. My general is dead. But so is their, their general's not dead, but he's routing. And uh, so it could go either way at this point. So it's insanely close. I mean, I'm losing on that front line, but so are they. Um, my archers, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to just throw them in and try and win this fight. I've now got Dunedain archers, like deep enemy lines here. Flying archers, and they're also flying the swords here. So, I mean, it is insanely close. And these Dunedain Rangers are good in combat. They are they are actually pretty deadly. And yeah, they're going to go on. They're going to just kind of silence as many of these guys as possible. They're routing. My uh, Dunedain Archers here are now slowing down this charge. This is this mountain Swan Knights having to go up against. Uh, I don't know how well they'll fare here, but uh, they've got to do their bit, basically. And there you go, more squires and stuff coming in. The general has actually rallied for uh, Dol Amroth, so that is not good stuff. But I'm pulling back an arch unit, I'm going to try and focus fire it. He's stopped it here, I'm going to try and get a volley off. Can we do it? We need to like, rouse it permanently, this unit. And then I'm just going to balance it, because otherwise I have lost. Is he going to realise? Is he going to realise? Oh, that's a lot of dead, that could be a lot of dead swan knights. And there he goes, wavering again, it's wavering again. Another volley, another volley is needed really. And there you go, it's routed permanently, and that might be enough to balance it. Um, we w I don't know. Might need to get a volley just to kill him, because routing has not got the same effect as, like, killing a general. Uh, but yeah, so we have won that fight there. We actually routed the Swan Knights with Dunedain Rangers. And we're going to win this fight here now that I've surrounded these guys. The Dunedain Knights are going to take some volleys in the rear. But they can take it. They can afford to take it, and we're going to slow this pocket down. Slow this pocket down. We're going to take this pocket out. Oh, the fighting over here is still going on. I'm so impressed that my Dunedain Knights of Spears are still holding against these Prince Guard. And I'm actually winning in this fight here with my Dunedain Rangers. It's insane. These Dunedain Knights just need to quickly kill these uh, squires off, and uh, that is, that'll be some hope. Give me hope. And there you go, I think they're all routing. It's just a uh, dismounted knights left to go. And there you go, they're all gone. So that's the whole pocket gone. This part over here is now also wavering. This is down to this unit here, firing desperately into it. So we'll slow-mo a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I am now winning over here. I'm going to break this. So a cavalry unit is going to be freed up. It's only 27 men. 
Those 27 men could be a make or break in this fight. So that is huge. Huge. And the cavalry fight over here is now in favour, I would have said, of the uh, Dol Amroth because they have some infantry in it. But it's a small infantry unit. I don't know. It's going to be close. This cav just needs to hold on. They should really have pulled out this cav a long time ago. Uh, send like a small infantry unit and then uh, had the cav go in. So they could actually go rampage elsewhere. But you can see uh, my Dunedai and Spears in here are surrounded. And they're still holding on against the, uh, the Prince's Guard. But uh, they are starting to get relief. There is start, like swords are now being pushed up. They're now going to charge here. They're getting fired at point blank range. Which is uh, going to be painful for them. And there you go. They're going to go and they should mop up those archers with ease. The Duna dying just don't give up. They just don't surrender. Even without a general, they'll carry on the fight. It would seem. But I mean, we are actually losing that fight. Dunedain Knights with Swords are losing against Dol Amroth Archers. And that's not even like an impressive unit of Archers. It's just... Oh, there you go. It's gone even again. But that was really bizarre. Um, but yeah, I am actually now losing that fight there. It's now... Uh, because of the Swords going in, that has changed the uh, the fight. But I now have Dunedain Rangers in here. And they are now taking on these uh, Prince's Guard. And they're winning that fight. These guys are just nasty. I was only limited to three. And uh, I think that was a good reason for it. They are goddamn nasty. I could have brought Grey Company, apparently, but uh, which is a 40-man unit, so they and they're even more elite than these guys. But uh, I felt like I needed the men at this point. I was already luckily I didn't decide to bring them because I was already outnumbered about four to five hundred. And uh, yeah, that that was might be enough. But my cavalry's now freed up. It's now going around running stuff down, and it looks like the battle is going to turn in my favour. The swords break here, which is. Bizarre and strange. And the Swan Knights are falling, are pulling out. They're going to try and char charge my uh, my archers. Oh, it's, eh, it's an okay charge. There just wasn't like much momentum. And they're probably quite tired. Yeah, these Swan Knights, they're going to have a tough time. Just look at this guy. He's getting like attacked by five or six guys. He's prodding his sword. And there he goes. He's dead. Poor oh, man. And they're charging my uh, Dunedain Knights, charge back in to rout these Swan Knights. And then it's just a couple of units of archers to deal with. I mean, they've got some uh, knights and stuff over there that they've not actually realized that they still have. But they need to be careful. They want to uh, probably do something about that. These Dunedain Rangers are going to make sure that they route properly, though. And we'll just execute them. Execute Order 66. No Dol Amroth will allow, be allowed to escape. And yeah, there you go. Everything routes. A chain route. And a Pyrrhic victory for the Dunedain forces. So we'll end the replay and have a look at some of the end results. So I was playing against Dodgy Gob. Uh, he is also a YouTuber. I would go and check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description. And go subscribe to him and go and support his channel. Uh, he's, supposed, he's had a bit of a break uh, due to like technical reasons. Um, but he should be uploading again very shortly, I believe. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what he's got uh, on offer. And you guys should also go and check him out. He's really good. Uh, well, a really nice guy. So I'll go and check him out. But we'll have a look at some of the Dunedain kills to start with. Um, I got 134 kills with my general before he eventually uh, succumbed to a grisly death of being, I think, picked apart by arrows, really. Um, so yeah, that's not too bad. My footman, yeah, didn't like do massive uh, in kills. Got 66 kills like in comparison to my Dunedain knights with swords. I mean, one only got 8 kills, but the other two got 223 and 231. I think this one with 8 kills got the ones that got mown down by the cavalry, so that's no surprise. Uh, my uh, Dunedain Knights of Spears got 158, the best ones. That's pretty solid. My Dunedain Rangers, 373 and 365. These guys are monsters. Uh, I think they both of those two went into combat the longest. And then my Cavalry getting 200 kills is not too shabby either. Um, so yeah, I mean, the Dunedain, if you're ever playing Fives of Gondor, Dunedain is a good faction to play. I mean, so is Dol Amroth. There's some really good factions, but Dunedain, they are nasty. And then a dodgy gob with his uh, kills is Dol Amroth got 138 kills with his uh, general, his Swan Knights. Um, his uh, squires, I think the best one got 99 kills, which is not too bad for them. It's kind of like the very like the same sort of level as my uh, footman. And then his uh, dismounted uh, knights got uh, 145, hit, which is actually better than his Swan Knights, who only got 120. And his prince guard actually got 143, which is actually again slightly worse than the dismounted knights. Um, and then his arch, or his spears didn't really do anything. His archers, I think the best one got 68 kills. I mean, just nothing in comparison to these absolute monsters are the Dunedain Rangers. 
And then his uh, Swan Knights, Mountain Swan Knights, which got kind of trapped in combat for so long, only getting 68 kills. If he'd like pulled them out of combat earlier on, like I should have possibly done as well with my uh, Dunedain Knights, and then just allowed the infantry to carry on fighting in those like flanking fights, then he might be able to use his cavalry to go and do some like hammer and anvils and stuff like that. I could have done the same as well, but we both said like during the battle, like it got to a point so tense, he just didn't want to move anything of a risk of it routing. But it, yeah, it was a really, really close battle. So well done to him. And yeah, if you'd like to see more Fives of Gondor and, um, on the like channel, then let me know in the comments. And uh, if you'd like to see it, leave a like and subscribe as well if you're new around here. And uh, yeah, if until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.